I'm Mike Bowers and I'm a photographer at large for The Guardian Australia. I'm talking pictures this morning with political correspondent for the National Radio News and the Community Radio Network, Amanda Kopp, and a very warm welcome to a very cold Canberra day. It is very, very cold here. Frost and fog everywhere. The um, new government might be firing on all cylinders, but everyone else seems to be very low on energy, especially our national energy market. This beautiful David Rowe has uh, channeling Mission Impossible. Ni Mission Impossible, the spot market suspension starring Daniel Westerman, Chris Bowen, and the artist formerly known as Angus Taylor. He's got the little, uh, his sticky hands his sticky just hand don't in seem the to go away. Tin, yeah. Dan, psst, Dan, I assume we won't be needing the candles as Chris Bowen's looking through the roof here. He'll sort it out. They're pulling it off. Um, I did love this, uh, Matt Golding. Honey, I found a use for all the Christmas scented candles, power blackouts, uh, the gas mask with it all on. I love the smell of essential oils in the morning. I know, it's beautiful. Finally, a use for all of those useless Christmas candles. <laughs> Amanda, there's a reason economics is called the dismal science and our new government uh, certainly has a lot to bear. Boom, boom. He does. Mm. We've got Nationals leader David Littleproud here and his uh, his cronies Angus Taylor and Peter Dutton. He's... He's no chance. Yeah, and of course the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, is channeling Andrew Redmayne, the goalie for the uh, Socceroos, dancing on the line here as the uh, bear markets is about to take the kick. Political wiggle. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Oi, oi, oi. 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 Did you see that uh, uh, many Australian journalists, in particularly in our case, our regular Jack the Insider, was banned by Russia? I know, what was it, 121 journalists who were banned. I was quite offended that... I wasn't on the yeah, list. No, well, we need to up our game. Russian censor, go yourself. <laughs> There's always a bigger bear. I did love this Brett Lethbridge. Uh, ha, look at the world tremble before the might of my Russian bear. It's more of a teddy bear. Yeah, he's looking a little bit battered there. I mm. think we, we thought that it was just, you know, a bit of a regional conflict, but yeah. now we've got it affecting the entire world economy. I did love this uh, Harry Bruce. It's the uh, newly selected captain is tested under some high bombs and uh, interest rates, inflation, gas price and electricity. You just wouldn't want to drop the $12 lettuce one, would you? And Mr Spooner, Insomniacs, uh, he's got Anthony Albanese, the Prime Minister, in bed counting um, the bears, which are energy crisis, interest rates, stock market jitters, inflation. Yeah, Albo thought that the last 10 years was bad, uh, being kept up at night about why Labor kept on losing. Yeah. And now he's in power and he's got all these ones yep. to deal with. Careful what you wish for. Amanda, not many things are looking up at the moment except perhaps the minimum wage. That's true, up by 5.2%. All the cartoonists see inflation as a dragon, which is rather handy. It's a, a handy metaphor, dragon. isn't it? A terrifying dragon. Mark Knight's got the workers leaving the factory. I wonder how far our new pay rise will go walking into the teeth of the partially lit dragon here. Polly Farmer from the Hobart Mercury has, uh, you know, at first I was excited to be given a new shield with the $1 pay rise. Don't think it's even going to cover him. No, I don't well. think so. One dollar isn't really going to go that far. Yeah. Maybe a uh, chocolate bar at Coles. This is a beautiful David Pope. Wages on ice is uh, the loose unit here is um, selling the um, mould minimum wage rise wine, I think it is. Indeed, and it looks like Albo here is really the only one who's excited. The rest of us are still shivering in the cold, not being able to turn our heaters on. A beautiful Fiona Katowskis from the Echidna. I know we've given up on our dream of ever owning a home, but now we can put a deposit on an iceberg lettuce. The greatest Australian dream, huh? The great Australian dream. That's what I want when yep. the world is falling apart. Yep. A crisp, crisp iceberg lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. Look, it's been a great pleasure unpicking the events this week, which basically is, uh, as far as I can see, is uh, a question of bears and dragons. Lions, tigers and bears. Oh my. Oh my. I'll let you do the honours. Back to you, Spearsy.